you want me to clap? Yes, that's even better. And you've got visual yep. cue, you see? It all works, I love it. There it is, all right. <clears throat> the sort of idea behind the EP was that we, need, we, were, we wanted to start again from, this, from scratch and, and find our sound, you know, and we did a lot of experimenting and, and things got weird <laughs> and we had to definitely tone it back. By the end of last year, we had about 25 or 26 songs that we ended up having to cut down over the space of about three months to the six we ended up recording. The writing of the songs is always, it's always a fun one because uh, just, you know, you, you get a feel for the ideas that people bring to the table and where they've been while they're creating them sort of thing. It's been a really long process start to finish because because the, like these songs are really much more sort of complex, both arrangement-wise, um, like form-wise, you know, the sequence of the song. Um, and, uh, you know, we're using a lot more effects on synth. We've got Tom, like, he's off guitar. Uh, not having written any of the music this time as well was cool, because I didn't really need to take a lead role. I could just play the music and mess around with sounds and see what came out the other end. We ended up using um, a guy called Colin Ledbetter uh, from Ledbetter Productions to produce our EP. Uh, and ultimately, we went and recorded most, of, like a majority of the of the tough stuff, down at uh, Sing Sing uh, recording studios in Richmond. We had six days in Sing Sing, and it was all pretty chaotic because we were trying to get a lot of stuff down in there, and it was just six days of everyone in the same room, pretty much the entire time. It was difficult to see how it was all going to come together. So we, actually, we even got some guest performers, which was really cool. We got uh, Danny, who um, who's going to be a a live guitarist for us in the future, did a really cool uh, guitar solo on Flowers. Great to work with that sort of like musician, he's really, really high caliber. Uh, our singing teacher, Jay, did a really awesome vocal part on I Saw a Mannequin Come Alive. And uh, Jackie Rath, a really awesome singer uh, that I know who lives in my area, did a really awesome vocal performance on uh, Round Hips, uh, Sync Ships. Getting in the, all the extra musicians, all the session parts, that was, uh, that was, that was wonderful. It was just so good to have all these extra parts just bringing new life and new flavors to the songs that we've just written which are already completely different from things that we've done in the past. It was actually really fun the whole thing of getting the horns in and stuff it was really interesting like writing de um sitting down and because that because that made us think of the songs in a different way putting another instrument or set of instruments in there with a really different like timbral like textural quality um really sort of forced us to sort of take a step back and be like well I mean, the bass should probably just play a bass group, like a groove instead of the riff. We can have the horns on the riff. So we decided to, to chase down that whole prog aspect of it and, and try something new. And like, and sure, we, we probably took it too far with too many instruments and everything else. Once we actually heard what it was going to sound like to the people who would actually hear it, that was, that was really cool. It, yeah, it was really nice to hear it that way, and that sort of gave the whole process a bit of a boost right at the end, when everyone was starting to get a bit, not sick of it, but sick with it. 